Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be doing a very crazy drawing challenge and I can't believe I'm actually gonna do it because, ah, uh, okay, first let me explain the challenge first. So the challenge is basically to um, draw with my left hand. So I am right-handed and I normally can draw pretty comfortably with my right hand. And I saw a few things on YouTube, like challenges where they um, started drawing with their left hand. So I wanted to give it a try because it is meant to be a challenge. And I just kind of want to try something new. So um, yeah, so I'll be drawing with my left hand. And the reason why it's so crazy for me is because I have this issue where when I try to draw with my left hand, I get very angry. I think it's because I cannot control the pencil as much as I can with my right hand. So I start to get irritated and I feel like this deep-seated rage inside of me when I'm trying and it, I'm trying to draw and attempt to like draw something pretty with my left hand. Just writing my name really drives me crazy. So this challenge might be um, a little bit frustrating for, for myself, but uh, I guess we'll just give it a try. We'll see what happens. Basically for the challenge, I will be drawing Pikachu. Um, now this is sort of like a shout out to my childhood. We used to always play Pokemon and I thought Pikachu would be sort of like an easy thing to draw, especially the fact that everyone recognizes him. So I hope that my left hand won't butcher that too much. Um, but yeah, so the materials that I'll be using is first and foremost, I have the Copic marker paper. Just, yeah, just marker paper. I am going to be using my Prismacolor Coal Erase Light Blue pencil. This is for sketching. I of course also have my eraser this is just the standard like faber castell kind of like putty eraser um, so you could kind of like mold it and stuff i really like using this one rather than the simple eraser it just works better and then i will be using the copic chow marker so i have a variety of different colors here of course with the yellows we're going to be coloring pikachu i don't necessarily have the proper colors uh so i'm just kind of doing with what i have but here for the dark yellow it is golden yellow. We will use the regular yellow for his body. I have here a lipstick red. Ooh la la. So the lipstick red will be for his cheeks. And we have the black marker and the sepia. And I think I might even do a background. We'll see how I feel once I'm actually getting through the Pikachu. It might just be a little too frustrating to continue, but I want to attempt to make it back background. So I'm gonna be using some blues for that. Um, but yeah. So I'm just gonna pop up my reference photo on the actual screen and we can begin. So, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. So I, oh my God, <laughs> I'm going to start <laughs> with drawing Pikachu in my left hand, with my left hand, I should say. Um, so we're gonna try to do this. So the kind of the composition I wanna achieve here is to have the little Pikachu in the center and then sort of have like a round bubble around him that will be with blue and kind of give sort of like an anime feel to it. I really don't know if I will, will be able to achieve this, but we can always try. So um, yeah, so basically before I start this, I kind of have to say that I haven't really tried or attempted to draw with my left hand before. I've tried to write my name with my left hand, but that never really went looks good. So what I'm going to do to help myself um, <laughs> is to start kind of draw like reference line on where I want the Pikachu to stand because I actually do not trust myself at all. So we're going to draw like here. Oh gosh. The top of his head. Oh my god, it's shaky. Ah! Okay, wait. I'm going to draw the top of his head. And here I want his body to end approximately there. So it's just going to be a small Pikachu. Nothing, nothing too crazy. My hand is super shaky. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the paper with my right. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. So we're just gonna, oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of draw the head shape first. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> you guys probably, <laughs> let me zoom in there for a second. Let's see, let's zoom in. Okay, so maybe I should draw with a darker pencil. Wait. And just draw the head shape. Don't know why I drew him so big. Okay, wait. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. You really have no control. Like, if you're not using the hand that you're used to, you have no control. Like, right now his hand looks like a potato. Wait, let me switch to a regular pencil shape so you guys can see what I am drawing. Alright, so we got this pencil. Okay, so I've switched to the regular HB. Actually, I think this is the 2B, but whatever. We're just gonna draw his head again. Oh my god, my hand is so shaky. Look! 
look at that. That's so beautiful. All right, all right, okay. So let's do, okay, let's try to give the like body shape here. So you've got, it's kind of like a potato shape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this side. What I like about Pikachu is that he kind of looks like he's wearing pants. Like, really low riders, you know? He's got like a weird shape. Oh my god. By the way, I'm probably gonna say oh my god a lot throughout this entire video. Ah! Oh, this is killing me! Okay. Oh, sh oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. So let's try to define his face a little bit more. So he's got kind of like, like a little chibi face happening here. Oh, oh that's really painful. This is really painful, guys. Try to draw his ear. Wait, before we draw his ear, let's draw his um like the rest of his body. So I think his his feet are gonna be the easiest to draw, so we're just gonna draw them. They're kind of like pointed. Yeah! Like little ballet slippers. Okay, that wasn't so bad. He's got little toes. I can't even draw a straight line. This is incredible. Do you like his toes? Look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna try to draw his arms. Oh god, this is gonna be really stressful. So his mouth or his chin goes here, and then his arms, they're kind of like sticking out of his body this way. He's got little fingers. Actually, I have no idea how many fingers he has. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, there's five. Whoa. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And then he has like a thumb. <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's do the other arm. One, two, three. Oh, four. You know what's actually worse is going up. So I kind of have better control going down. But drawing a line upwards is really, really hard for me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Not bad. Kind of looks like a... Don't even know. Don't even know. Like a dinosaur of some sort. Right, let's do his back stripes. Oof. More back stripes. Okay. I think his tail is going to be the most challenging part. Okay, wait, so let's, I can't use my left hand, so I'm gonna race with my, or I can't use my right hand, I'm gonna race with my left. Oh, jeez. I really have to hold down the paper because this is, like, I have no control right now. No control over my left hand. Even erasing is hard. Okay, let's erase this. All right, all right. We're getting somewhere. Okay, we're gonna draw his cheek. So he's got like rosy cheeks. We're gonna draw one here. Oh, focus, 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 focus. Ah! <laughs> okay, so that's one. We're gonna draw the second. Um, yeah, where can we draw it? So it's a little bit further down, so. Whoa, not bad. Look at that circle. Insane. Okay. So, I want to draw the eyes, but I'm not sure about the placement. Um, I might have drawn this cheek a little too high, so let's try here. He's got like the little... God, he's gonna look weird. Wait, this eye is a little bit lopsided. Ah! The more I draw it, the worse it gets. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. <laughs> this side of his face is so bad. Okay, let's draw his mouth. Oh, jeez. Yeah! Okay, not bad, guys. Not bad. Does not look like Pikachu. Okay, let's do his ears. I think his ears are going to be much easier. Uh, actually, that's probably going to be a lie. So let's cut them off at the top here. Quite tall, so we're just going to go like that. Oh, God. Let's just do it. Just do it. Ah! There we go. Um, sure. Okay. That. Yeah! Okay, so let's do his lopsided ear. Pikachu has a really cute lopsided ear. He kind of reminds me of a rabbit because they like put their ears lopsided. This one's gonna be really tough. Oh, okay, wait. Let's see. Let's do a finishing point here. We're going to stretch it outwards. Oh, guys, this is really stressful. It's not really a good ear, but that's okay. Like that. Yeah. Okay, now for his tail. Oh, his tail. So his tail starts a little bit like down his behind here. So after the last stripe, you want to start with the tail. So we're just going to do, oh God. Try to do solid lines. <gasps> that's a really good one, actually. Okay, wait, let's try one, one here. Oh. Ah! Let's see it up. Oh my god. Oh, it's okay. This is really tough. Okay, not bad, not bad. So we've got this one here, then he has like another. And another. Oh, his tail is not as bad as I thought it would be. It looks like I don't have to draw like circles or like oval shaped curves. Then his tail cuts all the way. I think I drew his tail a lot, like extremely high. That's like really, <laughs> that's a really high. Should actually end like, okay, wait. Can I actually erase this? Let's try, let's try. So I'm just going to erase these lines and we'll do it again. See, this is why I don't like drawing with lead pencil because the lines, like with my left hand, I'm drawing super, super hard on the paper. I just can't help it because I don't have a good grip on it. And see, it's kind of hard to erase right now. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, let's try. Let's continue. What is that? This doesn't even look like... It's like a Christmas tree. Down. Up, down. And then we will shoot off with... BAM! Okay. But now let's start the inking. So, yes, I will be inking. At least I'll be trying to ink. So I'm actually going to use my favorite Castell um, medium size. So this is the M. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Let's start the inking process. I will start with the left hand side of his body. Dang, look at that. Look at that line job. Oh, his fingers. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry, Pikachu. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> At least it looks like looks like he has muscles, like he's jacked or something. Yeah, Pikachu. Been working out. Beefcake, beefcake chew. Now let's try his ears. So I'm gonna start from the top. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn the paper. Nothing wrong with twisting the paper. 
So if you need to, do twist your papers. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad, except for the top of his eye here. Let's actually draw the like highlight part of his eye. Oh, I forgot his feet. Let's do his feet. His little ballet slippers. There we go. So the last thing is, is his tail, which does not look good to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna try to ink it as good as possible. I totally missed all of the lines. I'm trying- Aw, oh, crap! No! I got a speck. I like missed all of the lines, but I'm trying to kind of fix it, so I'm going to try to erase the reference lines afterwards. Okay, so the inking is completed. Now we're just going to erase all of the reference lines as best as I could. Um, I really have no control in my left hand, so it's a bit hard to add the, the pressure to erase, ugh, gosh, to erase everything properly. Eh. Plus, this pencil does not really help because I did use quite a strong pencil. I used a 2B. So if you guys are sketching, you want to use a super light pencil. Kind of my mistake, my problem, my fault. Ah! See, I really can't erase. Alright, so this is as good as it's going to get for the outline. Um, now we can start coloring. So we're going to take our favorite Castell markers. Or not favorite cast style markers. Wow, what is up with my brands? We're gonna take the Cupid Child markers. The easiest parts are gonna be the black. Um, so I'm gonna start with the eyes and the tip of the ear. So actually, this is gonna be the easiest part for me. At least I hope so. We're gonna color in the tip of the ears with black. Just gonna take our time. So let's. Starting to feel that aggression, guys. This is not fun. Not fun. Okay. Again, I drew over the tips, but that is okay. All right. So his eyeballs. We're gonna start off with the sepia color because it, actually there's a little bit of a gradient within his eyes, and I'm going to try to achieve that. Um, the darkness, like the 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 sort of brown, appears in this general area of the eye, so I'm just going to scribble a little bit of brown there. I might need to use a darker brown actually, this is a little bit too light. And we're gonna fill in. I'm not gonna do the entire eye because it's just a waste of ink, especially if you're putting on black. So I'm just gonna do like where the sort of brown appears in this eye. Ah! Coloring over the lines! Okay, so let's get the black out. Good enough. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the brown again and we're just gonna add another layer of color just to kind of uh, blend the sort of gradient look. Okay, so we've got that. Um, what I'm going to do next is I guess color him in. Well, we've got the cheeks actually, we can do the cheeks. Okay, let's do the cheeks. So I'm going to use my lipstick red. Again, I don't have the proper color, so his cheeks are, I mean, I couldn't really tell the color because they seem to vary depending on the type of, uh, like, photo that you're using in the reference. Sometimes they look a bit orangey, sometimes they look red with orange, and sometimes they'll just look, like, red. So because of the limited amount of markers I have, I'm just going to use the lipstick red. We're going to try to achieve something with that. This is probably going to be hard because it's circle, but let's give it a go. Yeah, it's not the right color red, but that's okay. <laughs> this one is a total fail. Okay, so we're gonna revisit the cheeks afterwards. I'm probably gonna add some highlights with the white pencil crowns, um, just to kind of give it more of like a sheen to it. But we can go ahead and start drawing or filling in the Pikachu color to the yellow.
gosh, I can't believe I did that. It looks horrible on his face. Yeah! So we've got here the most horrible Pikachu I have ever drawn. Um, actually, it kind of reminds me of the Pikachus I used to draw when I was like eight or nine. <laughs> I don't know. I've honestly never drawn with my left hand before, so I think this is a pretty big achievement that I was able to at least do something and sort of ink it and sort of color it. It's so bad compared to what I would, what I've been able to draw with my right hand. Maybe I'll just take it up one day and draw him with my right hand because I think he's a super cute character. Um, yeah, but I think the final touches for this beautiful masterpiece is to actually add my little signature and I will try to do it with my left hand as well. Oh gosh, why do I have to have so many characters in my signature? So let's try. Oh, I have to choose one that's not even working. It's okay. I'll switch to my XS. I actually ran out of ink in that pen. So I've been using it so much. This is gonna take days. Oh God. Remember when I told you how bad I was with handwriting? Oh left hand yeah this is proof right here brushes and bunnies <laughs> oh my god i have to zoom in on this masterpiece after and here's the heart that i always draw okay let's zoom in zoom in da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. okay enough with the dramatic music but seriously look how horrible that is Yes, it's awesome. All right, let's zoom back out, Pikachu. And here's the masterpiece, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly kind of sort of did. Um, like I said before, it really aggravates me to try to draw with something like my left hand because I seriously just cannot control it. And just the fact that I can't control like the lines that I'm drawing really, really aggravates me. So this was kind of like a test for my patience. I'm actually really happy I got this far. I uh, probably would have drawn a background if it didn't really like annoy me. But yeah, I think I think um, for the most part it was actually quite quite fun to be honest with you. It's really fun to challenge yourself and to try to draw things like in different ways or try to draw things that you've never drawn before. So I would highly recommend it. Comment below. Let me know if you guys have tried to draw with your opposite drawing hand. Let me know how it sort of like turned out. What were your kind of experiences with it? And what did you guys draw? I would love to know. Please comment below. Like the video if you've liked this challenge. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, with that being said, stay awesome guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and I wish you a fantastic day.